Hey YouTube, welcome to Everything RV by Pat. Today, we we got a Dyson D7 stick vacuum and it did not come with the RV, but I'm going to try and mount it in our coat closet. No power outlet and I don't want to run the cord around here and up into this area to plug it in. So I'm going to try and install a plug somewhere in here. Stick around and I'll show you how we're going to do it. Okay, first things first, I'm going to remove this panel. You may, you may recall seeing in an earlier video where I, re, where I added a USB and a 12-volt uh, outlet in my cupboard here. That has turned out to be a tremendous addition, uh, and we do run the cords out and around when we're charging cell phones from the USB port, um, and sometimes we run a 12-volt little inverter because I don't have an inverter and uh, it's nice to have that inverter and and or if I'm running a coffee pot I like to have this I've got a 12 volt coffee pot that I use sometimes too it's kind of nice but I'm going to re remove this panel so that I can get up in here and see behind this area where I have space in order to um, put a 12 volt outlet so that the cord does not have to run out of this cabinet. Okay, so you see we have this control panel off now. It's a very good thing I looked because what do we have right there? Water pipes and notoriously I'm famous for cutting into a hole or cutting into a wall and drilling right through a water pipe. So it looks like right up in here I have good access in this space to run a wire up to put a little plug right there um, but I'm going to double check feels like I have a, a decent stud there to nail to or to at least uh, secure my connection I can easily run wire there I've got the bus for the ground the common in the ground right there and then it's not too far to go to my main circuit panel and I'll tie into one of the other circuits uh, probably um, the washer dryer circuit over here this 20 amp on the end but that should be an easy easy fix and I can easily get down in there put a put a plug in here I can use this for charging up the Dyson I can also use it for maybe, you know, charging a, another battery down here. So it's not going to be a big, um, a big addition. Anyway, I'm going to reposition the camera and take a look in there from the camera angle. Looking up underneath the opening here, we can see that we have plenty of room. Um, with very little interference. There's some nails there, but that shouldn't interfere. That's looking straight up into the panel area that right, I'm going to put I it see in. That where I planned on hanging this on the side mount up here for the, for the Dyson D7, there is a pipe that runs uh, on the side there, there's two of them. One I believe is a vent, and then the other one is the drain for the washing machine that goes up in there. I looked as far up as I could get, and I could not see um, how far up it goes. So I'm gonna just very gingerly drill into this. All right, I got an idea what I'm doing. So off to the parts store, I need an outlet and a box and a cover. 
and maybe a little wire. And that should do me. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. It'll be instantaneous to you. But off to Home Depot I go. Got my trusty helper Max with me today. Say hi, Max. Just say hi. Can you sneeze? Max. Can you sneeze? Sit. Sneeze. Go hut you. Hut you. That a boy. <laughs> okay, so I've been to Lowe's. Got a cover plate, a box, or an outlet. I got the uh, the retrofit box. Is and then you just cut the hole, put it put it in, and then um, screw in these two screws, and it holds it up nice and tight up against the uh, paneling. And I got some 14 gauge Romex. Okay, so the plan is, I'm going to take this cover off here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it, I'm going to tie it in with the uh, front general 15 amp. And I'm going to run it from here, off of the bus, up under here, right up in that hole. And then up on this little spot, I'm going to cut a hole for that box. So I'll uh, kind of take you along with me as we go. Okay, we have the box and cover off. And like I said, I'm going to connect it to this. I'm talking to myself through this mostly. I'm going to connect it to this 15 amp. We got the bus for the ground, bus for the common. And I'm going to come in back here in the back. Let's see if I can adjust this so that we can see. Come on. Right up under there, some and through the back. Run one wire up this way, connect it there, and one wire, and then these wires down in here. Um, should not be a problem to run it out through the back. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trace my hole and trace and cut my hole. So that's what's next. Okay, so I ran into a little snag. I didn't realize that beam was there and I didn't have enough room. So the back of this got cut off, which is okay. It's all right. The, the, the connectors are going to be covered. Um, this is going to go in. It's still going to fit. Um, before I do this, though, what I want to do is I want to wire up the plug in here, string the wire, and then I'll set this and make sure that it fits. Also going to take a look at the cover. Make sure that we're in about the right place on the cover. Oh yeah, that's going to be fine. Got a little nick there, but a little bit of... We had a, we had a problem. Got in here and the Dremel tool went dink and broke. So, But that's the way it is when you buy the you know, least expensive tools you can find. It's living on a budget. All right. Next is wiring up the uh, electrical socket. All right. So that should be plenty. Put off a little extra. Oh, yeah. That's going to be way plenty. through Paper back, peel the cords back. Get 
and then black goes there, white goes there, and ground goes to there. Okay, got it back in, got the cover on. Got that cover on, got that on. Now we'll go test it out to see if it'll work. We'll go plug the trailer back in. All right, back in the trailer. We have this plugged in, I've got the power on. I don't have this mounted yet, but let's check one thing at a time. Take our little Dyson, see if I can do this with one hand. It slips into the plug, locks in place, and oh, look at that. Blue light, we have power. All right, so now I gotta figure out where to mount it up here. That's next. But it's kinda nice to see that little blue power light all right, next step, and there you have it. It's plugged in, it's mounted with screws, and let's see how it works. Try this left-handed. And there it is, it's plugged in. We got a little blue indicator light, we got the Dyson hanging. This accessory is definitely not going to fit, so it's got to sit on the bottom. This accessory can fit up here. And the long pole goes in there and hangs straight down. And voila! We have fully contained Nope, we gotta shut the power box. The Dyson in the side cabinet. Well, I gotta put a couple of things away. Obviously, I got a broom and some sweeper and my tools. But in general, there she is. I think in my cleanup process, I'm gonna take the Dyson and clean up all the sawdust. What do you think? Does that meet with your approval? Yes. All right. So there it is. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you got something out of this. It's real easy to mount. Take care. Stay safe. And we will see you out there somewhere on the road.